So now in this video we're going to look at a component which I probably should have started uh, using earlier but in case we're going to be using 5 volts there and I have a current limit of 30 milliamps because we should not have to exceed that. The board is powered right now and uh, what this is is 8 Darlington pair transistors right there. This is the collector. And that is the base of that top one right there. Again, we got a base and a collector. So all these are independent uh, transistors, basically. Darlington pair. So we will see. In fact, we'll do that now. I can uh, take this jumper, put it to the positive supply, and then we connect it to the base. There's a resistor already in there. I think it's 2,800 ohms, according to the data sheet. Um, so we don't need a resistor to limit current to the base. It already has one. And uh, of course, um, if you don't have a positive uh, going to the base, it's going to be off right there because it's NPN. It has to be uh, positive right there. And uh, so the emitter is down here for all of these transistors there. They all share the emitter. This is not a, a power pin right there. I have the jumper to the positive supply. That is a common pin. I can remove it. This is going to work exactly the same. Um, but uh, you want it there for inductive loads. And uh, so I'm going to uh, hopefully not uh, wire the wrong thing. And uh, there we go. Uh, put it in a positive supply. So that's optional, but you want it if there's an inductive load. Otherwise, it's not influencing what we are doing here. And uh, as I said before, each uh, one of these is an independent uh, transistor. So the top two. And then uh, the next two are a completely separate one. So I'm going to add another LED right there. And uh, remember, long lead anode has to be more positive. Short lead cathode heads towards the uh, more negative side of the circuit. And uh, so i got to go down to the second pin right there. So now we have the uh, second one wired up. I can switch that with a different jumper here completely independent right there oops once I get it in the right spot there we go and uh, you can see we can switch it so we can do that up to eight times so here's the kit I got this particular integrated circuit from and it's the uh, ULN 2803 uh, APG it says right there now I did not realize I had these and I just tried to find an integrated circuit with a bunch of transistors in there and I ended up getting the uh, ULN 2003 and um, so I got uh, 10 of them in there but uh, in any case I actually had some so um, when you get component kits I always uh, you know learn about them so you don't accidentally uh, buy ones that you don't need and uh, so, of course, these ones might be different. I don't know. I haven't uh, compared them. But in any case, uh, this particular kit also gives you the pin layout, so it's nice. As we said before, we have the input. So we were giving the signal to that. Um, but these are Darlington pair transistors. They're NPN bipolar junction transistor based. So the uh, base com of the uh, component of the transistor is the input. And then the output of course for an NPN bipolar junction transistor is the collector and uh, so there's uh, one there and then a second one at the bottom as we saw they're completely independent uh, other than they share the same ground and then uh, we could wire up a third uh, circuit to switch if we wanted to and uh, so of course ground they all share a ground and then this is called uh, the common pin so as I said before, this is for inductive loads. So inductive loads, they take a little bit to start uh, conducting. And then when you try to turn them off, they don't stop conducting instantly. So that could uh, fry something in there, it raises the voltage. What this does is give a return path to the positive supply right there. So if you have an inductive load and it's forcing current to flow, it will just flow uh, through there until the magnetic field of the inductor uh, collapses and stops forcing the current to flow. So it's like a release valve right there. If you have a higher voltage uh, over here than uh, what you want over there, it will uh, pump it back 